What's up YouTube? My name is Danielle and this is Dress Danielle. If you want to know how to dress more masculine without looking like you just went through your uncle's closet, then you're in the right place because every week I put together looks meant to inspire you and help you feel comfortable exploring your dominant side. It doesn't matter how you self-identify. If you don't feel like yourself in traditional feminine clothing, then I've got some ideas for you. If that sounds interesting, keep on watching. Today I have something special for you guys, something I'm very excited to share with you. It's what I'd like to call the Essential Series. Because I know a lot of you are working on improving your style and you aren't sure where to begin or what items to get first, I thought it would be helpful to create a list telling you what items I would get if I were building my closet over from scratch. Now, there will be other videos to follow this one exploring different categories, so make sure to stay tuned after this one. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Today's video is 11 essential shirts that you need. Number one is a crew neck t-shirt. Now this is the most basic clothing item that you can have in your closet. And everything starts with the t-shirt. So it's good to invest in a good one. You don't want it to look cheap. You don't want it to be a thin material. And you don't want it to shrink when you wash it. So look out for thicker materials. And most important, it needs to have a good fit. It has to be tight around your biceps. That way it makes you look strong. If it wide around your arm, then your arm's gonna look like a stick coming through and it's just gonna look skinny. Also, it should be loose fitting around a stomach area and you wanna be able to eat without feeling guilty afterwards like you're gonna look like a sausage. You can wear it in many different ways and most recently, most people are wearing it with suits. So that just goes to show you that it's necessary. You're gonna find better luck in the men's section for this one. Go to the men's section, look for the skinny fit, the slim fit, or ideally the muscle fit. I'll start off with, of course, a white tee or a black tee. Now number two is a polo shirt. This is basically a dressed up t-shirt. It's just as comfortable as a t-shirt except now you add a collar and you add some buttons. So it's definitely going to elevate your look. You can wear it with dress pants or you can wear it with jeans. So it's very versatile and also like the t-shirt, in my opinion, I think it looks best when it kind of hugs your bicep but it's a little loose fitting in other places. And for that, you're going to have to go to the men's section and you're going to look for like muscle fit. I suggest starting off with a white a navy or a gray one first. Number three is the Henley. I call this a sexy t-shirt. Now it's just as comfortable as a t-shirt but now we just add some buttons and honestly a lot of people don't even know about this shirt so if you get this shirt you're gonna stand out. A Henley you can dress up or dress down. You can even wear it with sweatpants and it'll just look better than sweatpants in a regular old t-shirt. This is a men's shirt so you will have to go to the men's section. I suggest starting off with a white one. Number four is a Revere shirt, also known as a Cuban collar shirt, also known as a camp collar shirt. The main thing with this shirt is it has a wider collar and it's going to sit a little lower so it's going to show some skin. This is not a professional shirt so avoid wearing it in the office, but it's great for going out and about in the summer, it's great for partying at night, it's good for, you know, social setting events, and it's like a kickback shirt. This shirt should fit loose and it's also a men's shirt, so you want to head to the men's section to find it. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what color you start off with, but I just wouldn't do anything too bright. Number five is a dress shirt. Now, it goes without saying that you're going to need a dress shirt in your closet. However, if you want to stand out, go for a collarless dress shirt. Me, personally, I love collarless shirts. I think that they're better than shirts with collars for women because they show more of your neck. And sometimes when we get collared shirts, we could look really stuffy. If you go to the men's section for the dress shirt, you should definitely look out for the slim fit, skinny fit, or muscle fit because anything else is just going to be too long in the arms, too broad in the shoulders. You want it to sit as close to the body as possible to look neat. Remember, dress shirts are meant to be tucked in. So if you get a dress shirt, tuck it in and wear a belt. I suggest getting a white dress shirt to start. Now number six is the Oxford. Similar to the dress shirt, except the dress shirt is going to be smoother and softer to touch, whereas the Oxford is going to feel a little more rough. It's going to be probably more on the cotton end. And the Oxford shirt, unlike the dress shirt, can be worn tucked in or untucked. So to me, it's more versatile. I love the Oxford shirt, and you can wear it in many different ways as well. I would prefer getting it from the men's section, but making sure it's a skinny fit, slim fit, or muscle fit is ideal. These shirts also come collarless, and if you could get your hands on a collarless Oxford shirt, to me that's even better. I have both, and I think I like the collarless one better. But the collared ones are cool too, because when you start to layer and put like sweaters over it, you can just leave the collar out, and that'll be adding other dimensions to your outfit. And I suggest going with a blue shirt first with a collar. Now, number seven is a chambray shirt. A chambray shirt is something most people don't even know anything about as well. So if you get that one, you're automatically going to stand out. And chambray shirt is basically somewhere in between a denim shirt and an Oxford shirt. It's not as heavy as a denim shirt, but 
it's different from my Oxford shirt because it has like a unique color to it. And I think that the way that they weave the fabric is also different. If you go for a lighter chambray shirt, it's going to look better in the summer and not so great in the winter. And if you get a dark one, then it's going to look great in the winter and not so good in the summer. So me personally, I'd go right in between and get like a mid blue. That way you can wear it all year long. Chambray shirt is great for layering and you know, you can even wear it under a suit as well. I go to the men's section for this one because although I think they do have this in women's, it might have some type of weird cut. Now number eight is a denim shirt. Now this is more of a heavy duty shirt than the others that I mentioned and it's pretty versatile too. You can dress it up or dress it down. If you dress it up, you're going to want to button it up all the way and if not, you can also wear it like as an overshirt. You can even wear it as a light jacket. So the denim shirt is pretty necessary. It's also pretty masculine. You can find these almost everywhere and you can find them in the women's or the women's section. I suggest you stick with a blue denim shirt first, although you can find these denim shirts in gray or black. Now number nine is a flannel shirt. Now every masculine woman knows about this shirt and if you don't, then you're late so you want to go ahead and pick one up today. Now the flannel shirt, even the most feminine woman can wear this shirt and they're automatically going to look more masculine. It's just something about it that people associate with masculinity. It looks awesome with boots, but you can wear it with sneakers as well. And you can wear it by itself or you can wear it as an overshirt over like a t-shirt. Honestly, you can even dress up a flannel. You know, you can just have the collar with the patterns poking out of a more sophisticated sweater. So it's a very versatile piece and it's a very necessary piece. And if you want to look masculine, it's a must. You can go to the women's or men's section for this, but keep in mind, again, the women's section, they like to do weird cuts. Sometimes they'll cut the arm right here. Sometimes they'll have the back of the shirt being really long compared to the sides. You're not going to find that in men's. It's just going to be a straight cut, straight to the point. So that's why usually I like men's. But unless it's skinny fit, slim fit, or muscle fit, I'm not really messing with any men's item. Number 10 is a linen shirt, but you can also get a 100% cotton shirt because from far away, they look almost identical to me. And they're very breathable, very lightweight. This is probably the most staple item for the summer. And it's going to elevate your look but not looking too overdressed. And this is going to have a loose fitting fit. So don't look for anything to like hug onto your arms or anything like that. That's not the point of this shirt. I suggest getting a white or a light colored one to start before you get into the darker colors. And last but not least is what I would call the going out shirt. Now this going out shirt could be a 100% viscose shirt. It can be a floral shirt or it can be just like a silky shirt. The key with this shirt is you want it to feel good. You want to be something that the ladies want to touch. And this is going to be the shirt that you go out with either at night or in the day. And I suggest something that you can unbutton uh, a few buttons. So you show a lot of skin right here and you maybe roll up the sleeves, pair some shades with it. This is not a shirt you're going to wear to the office. It's not a professional shirt. This is just going to be something that feels good, looks good. It also flows. You don't want to be too tight. It just needs to drape your body real sexy. This one, you can easily go to the women's section because this naturally has a woman's cut and it'll probably fit your arms and your shoulders a lot better. And that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope I was able to help you. If I did, please, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions about anything that I spoke about, go ahead and hit me. Be sure to subscribe because I will be coming out with some more videos and hit that notifications button after you subscribe so that you'll be notified of when I release them. It's going to take a while for you to get your closet going, especially if you're starting from scratch. Me personally, it took me like two years. So don't try to rush into anything. You know, you might buy things and might have to return them. So just keep your receipts. I hope I was able to help again. Thank you so much. I have a lot more coming to help you get dressed. But as always, it's peace and love. And remember, stay fresh.